Hi you guys, thank you for joining me this week. Um, my name is Chanel and I am an intuitive astrologer and tarot reader. And this week I'm gonna be providing you with a little bit of insight for the week of starting today, April 7th to April 13th. So till next Saturday. Um, and we're just gonna take a look at the astrology for the week first before we get going um and if you haven't already check out my intro video so you can just find out a little bit about me so you can know who it is i am and um where it is i'm coming from and how it is that i'm here to support you so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to share my screen for you for a quick moment just so we can go through day by day we're gonna Take a look at the moon. Okay, so here we are, April 7th. We have a moon in Taurus. So the sun and the moon is exalted for us today. So um, this is, you know, we're really in a place where we can make things happen right now. And the sun is in a square to um Taurus and I mean Capricorn and Pluto so this is us seeing what we need in order to really put the work in and with that in a trying to Jupiter we're really able to manifest um these realities with the work that is coming up here with um this square to Pluto and Saturn so through this astrology, I'm only, since it's a weekly forecast, I'm only going to focus more so on the sun and the moon um, and the aspects that are to those because that is what's most prominent for us right now. So tomorrow, the moon will be, um, well, let's go back to today really quickly. Um, so the moon is in a trine to um pluto and saturn and with that this brings a easy flow of connecting our emotions our feelings our deep desires um with the work it is that we're doing and that is with that it's not going to be as difficult for us to in the end show up here with the sun so tomorrow um the, the moon will still be trying uh, Saturn and Pluto, so same energy, but it will be in a sextile to Mercury in, um, in Pisces, which is still in its retrograde shadow phase as it is flowing back toward um, the place where it went into retrograde. So this is us uh, finding it very easy to um, culminate how it is that we are feeling with how it is that we are thinking on in a spiritual aspect you know beyond what it is that we can see and really allowing that to assist us in manifesting um through this work here that it is that we're doing tomorrow and also in a sextile to the north node so this is us really being able to plant these seeds and um with a supportive energy and helping this grow forward so on the ninth which is tuesday the moon will be on in gemini and will be at a square to venus so it can be a bit of an opposition or more so some conflict or some anxiety in regards to um our relationships and how it is that we're communicating within them and more so the internal conversations that it is that we're having with ourselves um and how it is that we're showing up in our relationships um and things may not be as um detrimental as they may seem with the square um to pisces and gemini you know because what that is really looking for is just a balance between um what it is we internally feel and what it is we think we know you know and sometimes uh, with gemini it can allow that outside chatter to really 
get in the way of what it really is that we're feeling within. So just taking some time to, um, on Tuesday, to breathe, to relax, to meditate, and really see what it is, where things are really going, um, can help us a lot in that. And um, we may be required to integrate some of the work that we do today and tomorrow um, along with our the ways in which it is that we're communicating. And that is where the going within is really going to support us in that, um, in making that a whole transition. So on Wednesday, I'll make sure Wednesday is six the tenth. I'll have a calendar right here. Sorry. <laughs> so on Wednesday, um, we still have the same aspects to the sun. The sun moves pretty slowly. Um, and we have here a um a opposition from the moon to Jupiter. So this may require some balance between our beliefs and what we think we know, you know, based off of how it is that we choose to think. Again, this is going to the internal chatter, that internal talk it is that we have with ourselves and um, really keeping the faith that it is that we are able to communicate these things, that we're able to interact with others in a way that um can bring some expansion to our life can bring um some benevolence to our life so this may require us letting go of something that is no longer serving us you know because now here we are in a square to venus and um to venus neptune and mercury right so this is um us really getting to the core of what it is that we desire on like a really deep internal hidden level, you know, and really taking note of the subconscious, the subconscious things that are arising in our thoughts, how it is that we feel in our relationships, um, and how it is that we interact with other people, you know, and really breaking through the fog, the illusion, the confusion, um, that is there with that. So um, Wednesday could be a good day to continue forward with um, just going within and meditating and doing some prayer, really paying attention to our dreams because that may be where a lot of the things um, come up for us because here, let's see. Mars is in a sextile to Mercury, so this will bring a lot of action here with um, a lot of clarity will be brought here with the work it is that we choose to apply when it comes to these dreams, when it comes to our desires, how we feel, and you know, this could even speak to relationships with our mother or how it is that we are mothering. So on Thursday, the moon moves into Cancer, and with that, that brings, that's going to bring a sextile over Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday um, to Neptune, Venus, and Mercury. So, um, just focusing on internally, like really nurturing ourselves and um, loving on ourselves and going back to these seeds that we have planted and bringing this together with what it is that we have been envisioning with everything and um, finding harmony within that. Like, it's like, oh, these seeds that I've planted, um, they totally go in alignment with how it is that I have been feeling everything that I've been, um, that's in my subconscious. It, it seems like it's, it's, it's time for it to come together, you know? So, um, but there will be a square to Chiron. So there may be a slight, some slight, um, like a slight challenge between our identity and how it is that we're feeling 
um, with these new seeds that are being planted, you know, with this nurturing that needs to go forward within our lives with ourselves and possibly needing some type of um, ramifications surrounding old ways of seeing ourselves and renewing that so that we can come into a place of um, just being able to fully be confident in taking new initiative, you know, and um, embracing all of that. Now, the moon will also be in a sextile to Uranus, so this can bring some, um, this might call for a radical change in how it is that we value ourselves or even in our, what it is that we deem worthy. So, um, this can definitely come in alignment with the, the harmonious aspect of this, um, trying that we're coming up to the venus right so we might see that oh well we may need a little change here you know and with that being able to really move forward um in a new innovative way something different you know and um just really applying these to our goals you know and um working along with others you know, how it is that we nurture ourselves and feel confident within ourselves in being able to show up for one another. So let's see Friday. On Friday, we have a conjunction with the North Node. So this is us really recognizing that all that we have been doing has been for the good of the long run you know we still have this trying to this Pisces stellium and now we are here um, just finding a lot of harmony um, in how we feel and feeling that we're taking the right steps that we're on the right path you know but there may be a bit of balance needed to be brought forth we may need to still bring the work in because Two water signs, it can bring a lot of passiveness. So Capricorn comes through to show us on Friday that, like, yes, okay, um, you you've accomplished this, but you cannot forget that we still need to um, integrate what it is and bring forth together um, these good feelings, and along with the discipline and um, just continuing to release the old structures that don't serve us here where we are, you know, and bringing and finding balance between those two things um, on Friday. Uh, and there will be a square to the sun. So um, with that, it might be challenging to express this in some way, um, or it might be some conflict that needs to be resolved, something might come up to show us that, okay, we need to put a little bit more effort in. We need to move a little quicker with this. Um, you know, it's okay to take our time, but we can't be so passive, so lackadaisical that we forget to actually show up, you know, and really um, communicate with ourselves in the best way and really motivate ourselves within in the best way and in that integrating our new our beliefs because at this point let me see it's okay so on the 11th i'm sorry let me go back on thursday we have jupiter going into retrograde so at this point it's like okay we're remembering we're going back you know in uh, recognizing what it is that we have been accumulating up until this point of what have we been learning you know okay what did I go back on that I said that I was going to do to help expand my life in whatever area that Saturn may be showing, um, that Jupiter may be showing up for you, you know, and fully integrating this um, within 
our desires within how it is that we wish to feel and how it is that we wish to nurture. This can also speak to a lot of parenting and motherhood and um, reevaluating our beliefs uh, surrounding this, you know, and seeing what it is that we need to let go of so that we can fully come into a place that we can grow and have just a really um, benevolent and faithful interaction with our children or with our mothers. So on the 13th, finally on Saturday, the moon transitions into Leo. So this is us really um, ready to be feeling expressive and expansive um, with how it is that we feel, uh, you know, regarding our desires and really moving into that. We'll have a trine to Chiron. So these lessons over the past few days that we've come across, we'll be feeling more confident in um who it is that we identify as and really just being able to show up to that and but that won't be until a couple of days later once uh the moon gets out of this square with the sun so we'll also have a sextile to mars and with that that is just putting some action, um, putting a little bit of effort toward um, moving forward with these ideas, communicating more our ideas, you know, really showing up. You know, it's a good day for if you are have planned something, the seeds that you were planted, um, it's a really good day to move out and move forward with that because you will get possibly the response that it is that you're looking for with that you know so um okay let's go ahead and get to the cards for the week so first i'll pull a couple of cards for the collective and pull some oracle cards from the work your light oracle and let's see what spirit has for us today source of divinity what does the collective need to know what will best start with them for this week okay. we're gonna pull four cards Okay, so the focus of this week is the sisterhood of the rose and beauty devotion priestess mystic teacher so this is very much so us focusing on um our devotional work uh the meditation and connecting with others who are on similar paths let me look this I am looking in this oracle book really quickly because I just got these cards. So it is asking, it is saying for us to, we're going to be focused on surrounding ourselves with beauty and the things that, um, bring beauty in our lives, um, everywhere that we go. Um, just really noticing beauty in every aspect of where it is that we're showing up, um, what it is that we're experiencing through our week and everything of that nature. And also of nature, spending more time there, getting um, more aligned with uh, nature, really getting grounded within who it is that we are and where we're going. Um, 
and in this we'll find more harmony within ourselves and within our world so the advice the the challenge card is saying yes so we may find ourselves having a hard time just saying yes going with the flow and um so this week maybe not be so apprehensive be open to what what comes about in jumping forward in that and choosing to say yes will best serve us so the advice from that is protection calling cutting cords and calling back cutting the cords and calling back your power soul retrieval so this is a letting go of all the things that block us from saying yes you know in moving forward in that coming back to ourselves coming back to our wholeness you know and remembering who it is that we are and what we're doing this for you know in moving beyond the apprehension that is not serving us that is stopping us from saying yes when we think we may not need to or thinking or allowing that internal chatter that speaks of that whole um moon in gemini mars in gemini conjunction um and the whole aspect of it being opposed to um to jupiter you know which uh stops us from really expanding so really getting to the internal and um taking some time to bring bring it back bring it back you know and the possible outcome of the week is the keepers of the earth and it says you are not alone ancient ancestors stand behind you so in the end of this week we'll realize that we do we are supported that by saying yes you know by having choosing to call back our power that we are um support it which goes back to the focus card which is the sisterhood of the rose so this is um communicating and collaborating with others you know and at that realizing that we are not alone our ancestors are on our side we have spirit guides we have the divine we are so supported so that is for the week and now we can get to all 12 signs and i'm just going to pull one two cards for each sign one from the tarot one from the oracle to support so let's go ahead and get started so for the week aries your overs happy birthday aries i'm an aries I just had a birthday a couple of days ago. Aries. All right. Let's see what spirit is saying for Aries this week. the cards for Aries. So Aries this week, um, we may be focused on the work. Um, it could be some overwhelm, you know, maybe feeling overwhelmed with all the work that has, but it is coming to a completion, um, a cumulative effort of everything that has been invested in all the time that has been invested. And with this work, it we get the plea Pleiades. So this is double, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity and being really focused on making sure that we put out there all of what it is that we need in order to fulfill our mission. You know, um, 
Pleiades is a star constellation. Um, and these are light workers that have come to the earth in order to support us. Um, at least that is their background to um, really uplift humanity. So we may be coming to a completion or seeing the efforts of our work pay off this week. So next up we have Taurus. Let's see what cards say. The spirit has for you, Taurus, this week. Let's put this Taurus. Taurus. So Taurus, this week you are called to be strong, to find the courage and strength and move forward with whatever it is that, um, that you're working towards. Um, just really choose and choosing to really express yourself and having the courage in doing so um, because you are supported. Uh, the oracle card you got is take a leap. Um, you go first, the universe will catch you. So as you choose to really go forward and really trust that you have what it is that's inside of you, um, in taking this leap, you will definitely come to a place that it is that you're desiring this week, um, maybe possibly by the full moon, um, about 14 days. 13 days at this time. So um, just trust that you have what it is that you need within you and that the universe has your back. Okay. So next up we have Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. 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 And forgive me if you hear any background noise. That's my two year old. <laughs> okay, Gemini. Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So the card you got for this week is the Eight of Swords. So maybe you're feeling victimized in some kind of way. Um, not seeing that you are in control of what it is that is happening right here in your life. Um, Maybe you're feeling alone, it seems like. When I was shuffling the cards, I seen a home, right? So this can speak to um, just foundations with others and um, communicating and collaborating, connecting with others. And maybe you're feeling victimized in some kind of way like that you don't have anyone. But the Eight of Swords tells us that we need to look up that we are responsible. We can open the door and move beyond this. Um, we have the power to manifest better and you have soul family as the Oracle card to support you. So call in your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. If you are feeling alone, um, you have people there to support you. You just need to make more of an effort you can't play the victim role and expect others to just show up because that is not, that's not how it works. You know, we have to, sometimes we have to put ourselves out there and really make it happen and, um, and call in who it is that will, who we know will support us and really, um, 
move beyond this state of victimization and forgive yourself by that's coming up. Forgive yourself if you need to forgive yourself and move forward in connecting with your soul family and your tribe so that you can have what it is that you need so you can feel supported through this time. Okay, so next up we have cancer. Cancer spirit. Okay. Supporting card for cancer. Okay, Cancer, so we're coming into the Ace of Cups. Um, so this is new insights, new intuitions, new ideals, you know, that we're moving into and ready to really bring to fruition, you know, really ready to start putting the effort towards that. And whatever it is that you've been thinking about beginning, now is the time because the supportive card that you got with the Oracle is the age of the light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Like what you're feeling belongs to you already. It has always belonged to you. And it's time for you to go ahead and trust that and take the steps toward these, this new beginning, you know, these new feelings maybe um you are realizing these intuitive psychic abilities that you've been um that you've always had latent within you well it's time to go ahead and activate those it's time to go ahead and start creating whatever it is that you're creating um that you're wishing to create this week you are supported and you have what you need in order to really make it happen it, it's all within it's all within okay so next we have leo a lovely leo i'm a leo rising so i get the leo energy <laughs> leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. 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 What do we have to Leo this week? Leo. So I don't know if I said this is for your sun, moon, and rising sign. So be sure to check all three. Oh, Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo, 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 we play with high for them with this card, Leo. Mm. Okay, so Leo, this week you got the world card, so coming to a completion, coming to an end of things, you know, really realizing what it is that supports us in our life and how it is that we need to integrate that in order to move forward, you know, and really come to that stage of graduation and completion. So this may be a need to um, finalize any old contracts, you know, wrap up any old loose ends or just really bask in where it is that you are, like you've made it. And in that, an oracle card that we have is unbound. So releasing soul patterns, contract past lives. This is signing, releasing the old that no longer serves us. Like what has it, what have you been carrying all this time that um, 
it just no longer supports you where you're going, where you're headed, how it's time to release that, to travel and move beyond these old outdated beliefs, these old outdated structures, ways of thinking, thought patterns that just no longer carry you forth anymore. And this is going to bring you to a, a new place, a new world, you know, and um, now because you're at a place where you know, you know, you're, it's clear, like, okay, I see where I'm going and I see what is supportive of me, what I can do right now, right here. And in that, um, it will just catapult you to somewhere that you just haven't been before, honestly. So that's wonderful, Leo. I'm happy to hear that for you, for me. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Virgo. My little particular Virgos. I love the facts and the details. Love Virgos. If I need clarity, I always find a Virgo to go to. <sighs> or if I need things to be in order in some kind of way. Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Let's play some Virgo this week. Virgo. Okay, so. Virgo, it seems like this week um, it's time to let go whatever it is that's been, you know, that you've been holding on to, that things that are no longer serving you, it's time for these things to come to an end, you know, and just really choosing to move beyond that to really choose a new a new path that can, a new emotional path that can allow you to move forward into your fruition, like choosing something more authentic to who it is that you are, you know, and not allowing the outside chatter, not allowing um, outside opinions to uh, continuously make you feel like that you need to be doing something other than what it is that you want to be doing, you know, because this is key has kept you at a space that of kind of confusion, you know, not knowing if you need to take root A or root B, you know, so the supporting card that you have is the no, you know, so you need to wait, postpone and pause whatever it is you thought that you were finna do because it's time to possibly move beyond that. Things might be changing in some kind of way um, this week that you're seeing that, okay, well, this does not serve me, you know, and in that, in that not serving you, you have to move on and move forward from it. So really just take some time this week to see what it is that is best for you. Not best for other people, but just best for you. Um, and really just, let this pause, this moment to really come clear for you because let me see. So this may pertain to your relationships that you have with other people, especially with this Pisces, all of this being in your seventh house and the work it is that you do with them. Um, like what it is that you're building with them, what it is that you're sharing with them. Um, and I'm, I'm speaking of your seventh and your eighth house. So um, really just take some time to sit and just don't do anything, you know, and see what direction it is that you need to go into after this week. Because 
um, it is it is something that's going to change, and um, it may not be what you expected at first, but it's definitely going to be for the best. It is okay. Okay, so next up we have Libra. Hi, Libras. Hello, Libras. People we'll say that Libras are indecisive, but once they make a decision, they'll be the best ones. So, hi, Libra, Libra. Libra is definitely who I run to if. Um, I need to know what's right or wrong if I need some, uh, some checking in my morality. Like, is this, is this fair? You know? So, okay. Believe her. You'll probably hear my son out there. He's playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> he be doing him. Libra, Libra. More so supportive by Libra. All right, let's see. So Libra, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is emotional fulfillment here. Um, you know, within family, within relationships, um, and really just feeling good, feeling like you made it, you know, coming to a completion. Of course, things can change, but right now, where you are, it is at it, um, a solid place, you know, and the world card is warrior woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? So now that you have made it to this emotional place, you're feeling really good about yourself this week, about life. Um, allow that to support you in, um, in releasing your fears and moving forward and taking action, you know, um, whatever cause it is that you're, um, supporting or going after you know do that um show up for that and in that you are supported you know you have this rainbow you will be able to find your pot of gold at the end of it you know and things will work out how it is that you are impending on you know and let me see libra so this can definitely be speaking of whether it goes to relationships or just your day-to-day -day work, your work that you do out in the world, that you carry out the service that you bring to the world. So if that speaks to you, definitely go for that. And um, knowing that you are supported, that you have what it takes and that in choosing to move beyond fear, um, what would you do? If you knew that you wouldn't fail, do that. Okay, so Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. I love Scorpio too. It's so legit. Okay. 
Okay, so Scorpio, you got the same card as Aries, um, but this feels a little different. This may be speaking to what I'm feeling is an overwhelm at work, like feeling that you really just can't, you're at a place where it's like, I just don't want to be here anymore. All these people trying to influence me in some kind of way and I'm just ready to let it go, you know, and possibly understanding what it is that, that needs to um, happen in order to move beyond this overwhelm you know you like i'm done i'm done and i have come to a completion of these things like you put in this work like you're sick of being overburdened and in that the protection card comes in so i need to really let go cut the salt cut the cords let it go so for you scorpio this may be a week of moving beyond um these, this work environment that is just no longer serving you. Um, just done, you know, and in that, ready to move beyond that and um, start over and finding a new way of working, you know, and doing things on your own accord. So um, it's a good week for that. And will most likely be what it is that you're focusing on. Hope that resonates for you. Okay, so next we have Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I love Sagittarius too. I love all the signs, honestly. <laughs> They're also, they all have their own unique expression. Sagittarius. They're like the warriors. They don't take no shit. <laughs> No. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this looks Sagittarius. Oh, I flew out. Wow, okay. So, we'll see. Uh -huh. I'll go with it. Sagittarius. Also hard to support Sagittarius. 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 Okay. So Sagittarius. The Ten of Stays will help for you as well. So, for you, Sagittarius, it is feeling like that you are similar to Scorpio, ready to move beyond the the excess. You know, ready to stop being told and ready to start doing on your own. You know, ready to stop being influenced by an outside opinion or outside way of being doing moving and doing this on your own how it is that you see fit on your own accord and um just moving pad beyond the place of feeling overwhelmed but first it's a realization like okay it's a lot i am overwhelmed so if you knew that i'm sorry just a second Okay, sorry about that. So, Sagittarius, the Ten of Stays, and the Warrior Woman. So, this is focusing on living a, a heart, 
soul fed, soul led life, you know, and really moving forward with that. And in that, um, just trusting, you know, there may be fear, but which might bring up some resistance, but knowing that you can know that you're on the right track, you know, and choosing to move beyond that so that you can come out of this place of overwhelm and exhaustion. Um, and just really being at a completion of what it is that you've been doing up to all this time and coming into a new place and trusting that it, that you're supported. Um, really have positive self-talk this week and allow that to support you in the choices that you are deciding to make. So next we have Capricorn. The goat. <laughs> the goat always makes it to the top of the mountain. They're so agile. They make it through anything. Capricorn. Capricorn this week you have the eight of staves so there may be some communication that comes in that assists you in your forward movement like that helps you move quicker may, helps you move more efficiently in what it is that you're already doing um, um, there may be someone who's coming through to help you um, to assist you in where it is that you are or you may even be having some downloads from spirit that um, help you really Cult, cultivate and culminate what it is that you're building here. Um, it's just as far as your personal enterprises. And hold on. okay, sorry about that, Capricorn. So, eight of stays, communication, quick movement, and the supporting card is the Akasha. So this is. A fifth dimension information coming in from either someone or uh, maybe just even from you you are it's also speaking of you being divinely guided um, through all of this you have support on levels that you cannot see but there are also others coming in to support you and um, help you through this so What I'm also getting is that this is a yes, right? So whatever it is that this communication, this communication that's coming in, is going to support you in following through. It's going to be like some divine guidance that brings us like a, aha, you know? So um, look forward to that this week and know that things are going to pan out really well for you, whatever it is that, you are building right now. Okay, and Aquarius, make these last two quick because I have to get back to the baby. Really quick, really quick. Aquarius. Aquarius. We need Aquarius. Mm. 
Aquarius, you got the wisdom card. So this week you may be coming into some new knowledge or perhaps you are sharing knowledge with others. Um, you know, being a gatekeeper for someone, but you are most definitely finding some newness within the things that you know and what it is that you thought you knew. And in that learning, supporting, from the star mother so how can you mother yourself this may be surrounding a way around ways in which you nurture yourself or even your children you know maybe um you need to put more focus into the ways it is or learn new ways it is that you can really give more to yourself be more unconditional to yourself um love yourself just a little bit more you know, and be who it is that you need to be for you and not for anyone else, you know, and really tapping into maybe a divine feminine is entering into your life this week to teach you how to do this. Or maybe you are the divine feminine um, energy teaching others how to do this. Either way, um, it's going to be a focus on um, new knowledge in utilizing the wisdom that you gain and the wisdom that you learn from others in order to uh, carry out more unconditional love to not only yourself, but to those surrounding you. So I hope that's supportive. And last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces this week, Spirit? Okay, I'm back ready for Pisces. So Pisces for the tarot card you got is the four of swords. So this week may be requiring some rest of you to really take some time to contemplate and really and really just not contemplate anything, honestly. Um, just let things arise. Uh, take a break from being so much in your mind and uh, the calming down, the internal chatter that you have within. Supporting card you have is the mirror. So what is triggering you? What what in your life is creating or what from within we should say is creating this trigger from that you receive from others i guess you could say in a sense um where is it within that you need to go in order to move beyond this to okay so um, what is it that you need to take some time to go in and heal? You know, what is it that is uh, creating this trigger? When have you felt this way before? And what, you know, what is this reminding you of? And where can you go within to really um, transform this? Like, what shadow is this that is coming up? What is it that you need to accept of yourself? What is it that you may need to integrate within yourself so that you can move beyond this place, move beyond these triggers of people showing up um, in your life? You know, with it being the Four of Swords, to me, this is more speaking of the the mirroring of the bad not the bad but what you tend to suppress within yourself you know and, and asking yourself how is this serving you what is this here for for me and 
how can I move forward from this would be good questions. How or how can I integrate this? How can I allow this to support me where I'm at and where I'm going? You know, so maybe taking some time to just rest on these things and see what it is. It is you, you know, we project a lot of our experiences into reality. So see what it is that is creating these mirrors that is seems to be causing so much conflict or um, heartache and take some time away from it all and really see where it is that you can show up for yourself in rectifying these aspects. So I hope that resonates. That is all 12 signs from Aries through to Pisces. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, you can contact me in the information below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I will see you guys very soon. If this helped, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you and talk to you all very soon. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good one.